hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you've been good and i hope your week has been amazing if this is your first time here welcome 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 to the family and if you're a returning subscriber you're the real mvp well, thank you so much for the love on my first video i appreciate you all so much like today's title says i'm going to be sharing tips and tricks as to how I attained 12,000 views on my first post on LinkedIn. Can you imagine that? So firstly, a little disclaimer, this was my first post. I didn't know how LinkedIn worked at the time, but if you're interested in hearing the full gist, stick around and watch the full video. Like I was saying, I didn't know how LinkedIn worked. I, I, I honestly didn't understand it. I remember at the time, I viewed LinkedIn as this platform for show off in court, but that wasn't why I made my post. At the time, I think I had about 200 connections. So it wasn't as if I had 1,000 and then I got 12,000 views. I, I was below 500, that's all I know. But I think it was after my internship, I attained 500. Um, so how did I attain that figure or how did my post trend or basically go, go public or go wild? So I'm going to be sharing tips that everybody can apply and that would be very useful to everybody regardless. You know how to use LinkedIn, you don't know how to use LinkedIn, you would enjoy this video. I have divided today's conversation into two parts. First, the content of what I posted and then the second part, the LinkedIn metrics or the features that I took note of that also helped to put my video or put my post rather out there. It wasn't a video. Yeah, so um, the first thing that I want to speak about is the post and the content, basically what I typed in. And so while I went back to look through what I actually posted, I, I could understand why the post actually had that many views. Firstly, because I tried to give a rundown of my experience during my internship. And so if you read through, I think the first part I'd speak about, okay, the fact that the internship was very competitive because I mean, KPMG is a multinational, but for people that don't even know the firm, me saying that I was amongst the selected few already puts that in their mind, right? So they are interested to read further to, okay, so this girl got to this place, how did she perform during the course of that? internship that i went on to say that i interned in this unit so people that i've never met before or know something about management consulting or have an interest in that area because they see that or they saw rather that i interned in that unit they are interested and they want to go further to know what i did and then after saying that i interned in this firm i spoke about how amazing the experience was and this is important because people want to know like okay you interned there what was your experience like we read summaries online we want to know how she perceived the environment how Bola perceived the environment while she was there or why he was there right and so after stating that i had an amazing time and i learned this skill this skill this skill because it's not just for you to go and work in any place or for you to attend any function or any seminar or webinar what did you take from that experience it needs to be highlighted so that as people are reading people maybe people that have interest in that line maybe have interest in management consulting and are also very conscious about in developing like their public speaking or presentation skills their critical thinking skills and their research skills say so, okay since this girl was able to develop these skills in the course of our internship here that means if i apply to this firm then I'm probably going to be able to develop those skills. And then I think after that one, I went on to state um, my best experience. So, you know, I mean, I was there for six weeks. Definitely something would have been the highlight of my experience. Obviously, there were definitely high moments and low moments, but very, do you get what I mean, basically? So I stated, stated that the KPMG Hackathon challenge the competition was my favorite part and i stated why it was my favorite part because it put me out of my comfort zone i was introduced to things i never knew before and i said what i also learned while on that project so you see i have been able to talk about two experiences without going into deep because the truth is you can't i mean the capacity for what you can post is very limited so you can't exactly expressly say oh i learned these these 10 things or 1 million things that you learned but i was able to say okay while 
while participating in the KPMG Hackathon Challenge, I was able to maybe learn one or two things about prototyping, um, work in different teams, you know, just highlighted those specific things. And then I think I ended the post by talking about KPMG. Right. So you know there are certain people that probably know KPMG and there are other people that don't know KPMG. So me saying, okay, in all, I'm grateful to KPMG for this opportunity. KPMG is a firm that prioritizes these kind of things, they focus on their employees, they focus on ensuring that interns come and aren't just treated like maybe adult staffs or the likes, but they are fully ingrained on the system of the organization. And I know I also spoke about the work culture because they have a very fantastic work culture, very easy for you wouldn't even know that you are an intern when you work there because just take you seriously the kind of tasks you are giving yes you're supervised but i mean just for kpmg on another day if you're interested in knowing how my experience during my internship was indicate in the comment section and maybe i'll post a video on that and lastly you know i spoke about the fact that i made a presentation then i put pictures to back it up and so this is very important because after people have read pictures seem to stick longer than text because i mean you read they read read but pictures they flash of colors and it wasn't just me saying i learned to research i learned critical thinking i learned how to work in different teams i learned something about prototyping the pictures i posted showed images showed that okay basically for me to be presenting something i must have done the research for me to have the ability to present I must have engaged my critical thinking skills and my presentation skills so you can see that it wasn't just word of mouth i had proof i had something to back it up and so i would like to say now that if you're making a post on linkedin these are certain things you should take note of you should, i mean everybody's very excited to share their testimonials to share their experiences basically just say how oh i'm grateful for this opportunity basically just share their stories but also be conscious about the people that are listening to you what can Mr. A draw from this post? And I think I took that into consideration. So now the B part is the LinkedIn metrics. I like to say that firstly, before I made the post, I didn't know how to use LinkedIn at all. That was my first post. I mean, if you scroll down, all the way down, you would see that I probably like maybe posted a couple of things, but those were like things that I reshared. They were really content that I created. It was content that I just reposted or reshared on my LinkedIn page. I spoke to some employees, that is full-time employees of the firm, saying, okay, I've had this experience. That's why it's very important to build relationships in the course of your internships, because you never know who would be there to help you. I basically spoke to two people. I spoke to Ogona and I spoke to Alex, right? And I told them that I like to do this. How do you think I should go about it? And this was because I had seen Alex working on LinkedIn, right? So I knew that he was experienced. I'm really grateful for this tweet, by the way. So I knew that he, he was experienced with LinkedIn. And so I, basically, I approached him saying, hi, I would like to do this. How do I go about it? So he told me, okay, write out a summary of your experience. And so when I did that, I took it to both Ogona and Alan. And so they helped me to tweak it and they edited it a bit. So it wasn't, the first draft was as good as what you are seeing or what you're able to see today on LinkedIn is. But because they helped me review and they also helped me with the hashtags. So you would see that uh, in front of the various things I did, I put, okay, hashtag innovation culture, hashtag management consulting, hashtag KPMG Nigeria. It's possible that if I put hashtag KPMG, I would have reached a larger network or a larger population. This is because, I mean, KPMG is around the world, right? Well, maybe KPMG Nigeria is just limited to the Nigeria circle. And secondly, when I was typing in, I ensured that I put in the exact words, exact skills that I that I made use of. I didn't I didn't use synonyms. Like maybe instead of saying presentation skills, I wrote I learned how to speak in front of an audience. That is too long. And the way LinkedIn works is if somebody is searching for something, if the person puts presentation skills, my post will probably come up because presentation skills was highlighted in that period in that post so that is also why it's important to use key terms use the try to communicate your message appropriately do not um fiddle around or maybe use synonyms because that wouldn't get you the attention or the traction you want to attract to your page right and then lastly i think the timing of my post i think i posted my video 
midday because I did that while I was at work. Yes, while I was at work, it was on my last day of my internship that I did that signing out process and all of those things. I just okay, this is something I'm going to do for myself. I'm going to ensure that I put up a post about my experience and I achieved that, right? One bonus point or tip I'd like to give is before you leave any internship or any employment opportunity, ensure that you connect with as many people as you possibly can on LinkedIn, maybe other social media platforms also, but LinkedIn is particularly very important. And, and the plus to this is even after you've left the firm, you and your former colleagues aren't in constant communication. The fact that they can see what you are up to over time helps you remain in their memory. That is just basically constantly in their mind because they see, okay, she posted this thing today, she posted something else the next day. You get you are fresh in their memory basically and i remember that there were times when different people that i didn't even know be tagging people with kpmg to see my post like i remember somebody was tagging a partner people were tagging different people i found it was just particularly exciting because <laughs> it was my first post i remember that time i'm sure that you guys come and see today's eight thousand tomorrow is ten thousand like and i remember i was so puzzled because i was just like what did I speak about? Like, I didn't even think it was exactly so good because I, I was just giving it a try. Encouraging you lastly to, I mean, give it a try. Do not, I mean, if it's your first time, you would always be better than your first. You would always be. So don't beat yourself up about that. Just to go over all that I've said today, after every internship or in the course of any employment opportunity, keep track of what you've done so that you can maybe put up a summary, put up a post afterwards, connect with people in your organization. If you say you did something, show proof that you actually did that thing, right? Because a lot of people say things, but they are not able to back it up. And I've had situations where people coming to give me speaking engagements. That's just for another day. But I have had opportunity of people coming to give me opportunity because they've seen my posts on LinkedIn. Basically, I'm telling you that make that post it doesn't have to be too good the first time but you learn from your mistake and that helps you to become better over time so i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below one thing that's sooner for you and one thing you learned bye see you in my next video